Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Big Daddy Brian Thrifts. Today we're doing some shoe cleaning. So you want to stay tuned, find some shoes at the thrift. It's kind of rough. Hey, clean them up, make a little bit of extra bucky bucks if they're high a dollar. Um, the shoes I'm doing today are my personal ones. They just need to be freshened up and a little bit of painting and drying. They're a canvas shoe. So we're doing canvas shoes today. So stay tuned, check it out. So these are the shoes I'm doing today. They got some staining right there. I'm gonna try to clean up. This is kind of a little faded. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the canvas just yet, but the Crocs needs to be repainted on it. Yeah, I got a little tip for that too. Uh, bottoms need to be cleaned, you know. These just need a little bit of makeover. So let's see what happens with it. So all my supplies came from Dollar Tree. From this, to this, to this, to that, to this, to that, to this. I got a Mr. Clean Bar, a Magic Eraser, a scrubber for deep down in here. I think I'm gonna have to use, and on the bottom, a softer brush, some baking soda, some Dawn li Liquid Detergent, some LA Awesome, it's an off-brand of OxyClean, and some Tide Oxy. So the canvas, OxyClean will make that fade so I'm going to use this on that and the baking soda and Oxy on the bottom and that and if I have to I'll use the magic eraser where it's got the stains real deep stains so stay tuned so now I got my water I'm gonna add a little bit of this Some Dawn Platinum Special Value. Like I did the Dollar Tree, like, like I said. And let's see. Let's add a little bit of Tide Simply Oxy, which you can get this at the Dollar Tree too. Okay. I believe that's all I'm going to need for right now. Let's uh, go ahead and throw that off there. Mix this contraction up. Get soapy a little bit. All right. We're gonna start putting the shoes in there. Let's see what happens, how clean we can get these boys. Well, they're pretty good, that's good, it's fine. Looking pretty good so far. Might not have to do as much as I thought. Oh yeah. So far so good. Not too shab. They were just really dirty it looks like. Just working it back and forth on that little spot there. Like I said, these are my daily shoes. I'm just trying to clean them up, make them look a lot nicer and fresher. You can tell a big difference already. Look at that. All right, I got the water hose. I'm outside. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna get as much soap out of there as I could possibly get. That one looks done. Now oh, these shoes are good and dry. The bottoms still look a little rough, but you know, these are my personal ones. So I'm really happy how they turned out so far. Look pretty super clean. Only thing I'm not very happy with is the rubbing off that Crocs. This is where this comes in handy. You can get these at Walmart in the arts and crafts. They're made for shoes. They're made for all kinds of stuff, but they'll last a little bit. And they're made by Elmer's, it looks like. They're called painters. Something or another. <laughs> I don't forgot what brand they are, but you can find these at Walmart. It 
So I almost got my Crocs filled in where I want them. Now I just need to go over, wet this off whenever this dries with some sandpaper or anything like that. Then I'm gonna call them a day. Other than that, they look pretty good. Let's put them out in the sun, let them soak. We got a nice 90 degree day out there, so it'll be good out there. So we are officially done with these shoes. I'm very happy with how they turned out clean wise. These are my daily work shoes. So just wanted to make them look fresh and clean. There was a bunch of berries that was at my work and I stepped in a bunch of them. That came right off there. You could see that in the very first beginning build. But I'm very happy. It didn't hurt the blue that bad. So I'm very happy about that. The bottoms look a little rough still, but nobody's, like I said, I would have scrubbed a little bit longer on these if I was reselling them, but these are for daily use. So anybody could do this. Refix the Crocs on the back. I'm very happy with that. Thanks for watching Big Daddy Brian Thrifts today. Uh, if you like seeing stuff like this, me fixing stuff up, I mean, like I said, this could be for your own personal use. It could be for resale. Uh, it don't always have to be for resale. So how-to videos could be for whatever you make it. I mean, I hope you learned something today. And I hope you take this information and run with it. Please like and subscribe to my channel, Big Daddy Brian Thrifts. And I'll be hollering at y'all later. Y'all have a good one.